What if we could recognize and stop disease symptoms based on abnormal brain activity? Could we provide better, custom treatments for people suffering from Parkinson's, epilepsy, severe depression, or other neurological disorders? Currently, some of these conditions are treated with deep brain stimulation, or DBS for short, which delivers constant electrical stimulation to the brain. However, studies suggest an adaptive DBS device that stimulates only when needed would be more effective with fewer side effects. Therefore, researchers at UC San Francisco are seeking to accurately identify abnormal brain activity that corresponds to disease symptoms. They report the first human use of a DBS device that can also analyze a person's brain activity continuously over many hours, even days, at home. Previous devices were limited to recording brain activity in a clinical setting, tethered to a computer, and for short durations. In the UCSF study, volunteer participants being treated for Parkinson's disease were implanted with the new device. Brain activity was recorded in the months after surgery as they went about their normal daily routine. The subjects also wore a wrist monitor to track movement-related Parkinson's symptoms without the need for constant observation by a clinician. By developing an algorithm to decode this massive real-world dataset, the researchers identified changes in an individual's brain activity that corresponded to movement problems like slowness or an inability to walk. Using data from multiple locations in the brain, the algorithm successfully identified abnormal brain activity and symptomatic episodes in real time, matching the movement data collected by the wrist wearables. The researchers further showed that the device could deliver personalized adaptive DBS treatment at home, such that stimulation started when motor symptoms were detected and stopped when symptoms subsided. This report represents a new milestone in identifying personalized brain signatures that correspond to disease symptoms. Now that designing personalized stimulation strategies is possible, the next step is to test adaptive DBS in a formal, randomized clinical trial. This technology has the potential to advance our understanding of abnormal brain activity underlying a variety of conditions, leading to personalized stimulation therapies for not only Parkinson's, but also other neurological conditions.